Chess here, and I'm here to show you guys a hidden exotic sniper rifle that we discovered tonight in the Daily Heroic. Um, it's uh, Lost to Souls, I believe. I'll correct it if it's wrong. Uh, but yeah, so here it is. It's basically Black Hammer 2.0, and it's amazing. And it's going to speed up the raid immensely. It's got all the same perks. It's got mulligan. It's got everything. And uh, yeah, it's also beautiful and sounds amazing. It's been given the exotic overhaul, and I love it. Um, but yeah, it can be infused as you can see there, and it's 310 by default, which is awesome. Well, yeah, uh, now you'll notice the background change. We wiped once. If you get to the 10 minute mark, you'll understand that later. That means it'll just take you straight to all of it. So here's our actual run that we did. Now, the idea is uh, you have to get to the door as fast as possible. Now, we don't know if it's actually getting there as fast as possible that causes it to stay open or not wiping. To be safe, do both these things. So you have to go through the mission like normal. Just rush through. We avoided all enemies. Uh, getting all the way to the end. Try not to get slowed by the wizard. They are quite annoying with that. But you just keep going all the way to the end. And it's the same as the mission as always. Uh, there'll be an ogre in the last room you need to kill. Uh, if you, well, not kill, you've got to bring him down to 25% health. So staggering is the best thing. Snipe is what we used. Uh, I actually ran out of ammo here because I stupidly didn't watch my ammo. Uh, so make sure you have sniper ammo here to try and keep him low. And as soon as he's at 25%, everything else in the room despawns. Then you grab the crystal, get ready, wait for the little cutscene to play. Unfortunately, it is annoyingly long. We were just standing here running at the wall waiting for it to open. Now, uh, True heals our hunter. He was going to run ahead and grab the orb. Uh, he was actually fast enough to lock us out of the, uh, the the room, but that doesn't matter. You get teleported in anyway. Uh, but none of these enemies need to die. Uh, the only things you need to do is get the orbs to the doors to unlock them. Now, you only go through two of the locked doors. You go through the first one, which is in this room here. You, you bring one relic over to it and open the door. Once it's open, you rush through, and there are two relics, one to your right up there, and one to your left underneath, which is what True grabbed. Now, I died here. You can die, you just don't want to wipe. So what we did is my uh, friend used me as a shield to get the orb in, and then we waited for the door to open, and we went through as fast as possible. Now here, here's where it changes. You'll notice I go straight ahead into this doorway. This door will be open, but only if you've done this fast or haven't died. We're not sure which. But yeah, so once you hear that little thing where the ghost says that the um, he gets a fall in distress signal, you come up here and you have to clear the ship as taken as fast as possible. You get given a 10 minute timer. You'll see it up in the, the left hand corner up there. We use our supers as much as we can. We have uh, True producing orbs like crazy and we have Madame Eo and myself who are just swarming with uh, our supers as much as possible. Now once this room is cleared, you go down this hallway, two captains will spawn off to the side. You'll notice us here getting ready for them. As soon as those captains and their vandals are dead, the middle door opens and you go into this room. Now clear out these ads as fast as possible. You do not have much time. So you say, it says 8 minutes 43 seconds now now. That may seem at a lot of time, but that fight at the end actually can be quite brutal. So I just use a synth there, ready for when it's it'll be ready during the fight. Now I don't want to waste my sword energy, so I use my super. Once you've cleared out these ads, it takes a little bit of time. You want to get the orbs as well, because the orbs will cause respawns. Uh, when destroyed, or if left open, they will continue to respawn things. There are some sniper vandals up the top you really want to watch out for. They have yellow health bars, and they can be a pain in the ass. Yeah, so once these ads are cleared, you can go through this door and you want to go as fast as possible. Once again, speed is key. The reason why is that last battle is actually really, really hard if you're not ready for it with the amount of time you need. As you'll notice, we'll die many times. Uh, when you die, you get a 10 second res timer, and then after that's up, a 10 second respawn timer. So when you die, 10 seconds till you can be rezzed. 20 seconds till you can revive. He'll stay in the middle as much as possible and basically just try and run around. He'll sometimes fall off. He'll usually make his way back up onto the center platform. If you can have someone stay on this platform where I am, it's useful because you can get damage even when he's hiding. Now, it's hard as you'll see I actually fail and die a couple times because enemies do spawn there. Uh, now, Manamio comes in with a clutch save over here where he cleans them up using his super and comes over to help. 
Now, the key here is to have one person focusing ads, clearing ads, while the other two focus on damaging the boss. As you can see, I'm using my exotic sword to try and get some damage on the boss and splash damage on the ads. Unfortunately, I wasn't watching my health as those orbs of darkness do actually do damage. Also, you have to watch out for the knights down below who do also spray fire up all the time. As I say there, I fought, fell off the actual stairs and they can be a huge hazard. So careful if you're going to stay in that room up there where we did. Now try and revive as much as possible. Every second in this encounter counts. We failed once. And um, we actually did it before when we got it in one shot. But we were helping our friend through it and also wanted to record it because we didn't believe it when we first did it. And so as you can see there, we're trying to damage him as much as possible while clearing out ads. Uh, Madame Mio actually died out there clearing out a ton of ads, so his death was actually not in vain. And here's me using a heavy synth. Now I'm saving that heavy synth for the ad clear because I know we've got about 2 minutes 50, so we've got plenty of time to kill the boss, but the ads can be killer if you're not ready for them. So I've used my super to try and speed up the boss, and I almost die there. You have to really watch your health in this fight, because it can stack up real quick. And as soon as the boss is down, as you'll see here, I open up my sword and just go to town. And you'll see here, True Heels picks up the Black Spindle. And there it is. That's the Black Hammer 2.0. And here I'll show you, I'll equip it so you can see that that's definitely what it was. It's a hidden exotic sniper rifle, which makes me wonder what else Bungie has hid deep within this game that we have no clue about. But there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck getting it. It's a bitch of a mission. And enjoy. Enjoy.